up, it's Evan from PhotoExtremist.com and today we are going to photograph a clock. Now, clocks are cool, everyone likes clocks, but what, what we're going to do is we are going to change the numbers inside of the clock to say a word. And it can be any type of word we want to, really. Four letter words would work the best, but uh, it can be whatever you want to say. And we are going to do that on Photoshop after we take the picture. But before we do that, we need to actually take the picture. So let's consider our lighting situation. We have an incandescent lamp right here, which is putting down light on the top of the clock and also on this wall. And now we also have a cloudy window here with cloudy light coming in. So what what do you set your white balance on? You have two, you have an incandescent light and you have cloudy light. Well, what I did is I put my white balance kind of in between on daylight. Now, that does make this incandescent light more yellow, but I actually kind of like that. I think it looks cool. So, daylight white balance works fine in this situation, I think. And also, um, just a quick rundown of all my settings. I'm using a fifth of a second, F5, ISO 200, Daylight white balance, I'm shooting in RAW, a camera on the timer, because if I, if I just push the button down, this tripod is kind of wiggly, so I need to put it on the timer so the camera stays perfectly still. Uh, that'll make the photo much more sharp. So I'm going to push down the button, come on guy, go, there it goes. And now I'm going to walk out of the frame so my shadow doesn't get in the picture. All right, take the picture. There it goes. Now that is looking pretty cool. We have a little bit of glare on the the photo itself, but I'm going to leave that in there because I want to show you how to get rid of it in Photoshop. Now, if you, if you did want to get rid of that glare right on camera, put your hand in front of the glare. So right about there and then it's gone so now we are going to Photoshop and we're going to change the numbers around so let's do that so I'm gonna go with the glare one just so I can show you how to put letters in the clock even if there is glare um, so before I do that let's just uh, make some a little uh, adjustments really quick I think it looks pretty good just how it is. Um, the white balance I don't really want to touch because I liked where I had it right there. So let's just leave it as shot and let's open these image. So it's loading. All right, here we go. So basically what I always do is I always make a duplicate of the layer right away before I start doing anything. This way I can always go back to this original layer and start over in case something goes wrong. So the first step what you do is you basically you just select, you you grab the polygon lasso tool and you basically all you do is just select one of these bits right here of light and then you press control C to copy it and control V to paste it. Now what you do is you push control T to select what you just pasted and now it gives you the control to rotate this little bit wherever you want to put it. So I can now place these wherever. But here's the uh, an important thing to consider. This the blending mode on this layer is set to normal. So that means whatever is around let me just show you really quick. Whatever is around the red thing, you can also see the black edges around the, the, the light. So in order to get rid of that, all you got to do is click uh, on normal here, that's the blending mode, and select lighten. Boom! It's gone. All that does is erases the dark colors in that little bit. So we can drag it back here place it wherever we want 
and now it's 109 instead of 105. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so if we want to make a word, what type of word could we use? You can do words that don't fit in uh, in an 8 shape. So in other words, if you, if you did T, you can extend the T out into something that isn't really there, but that might not be what you're going for. You might want to strictly stick to the 8 shape. Um, I want this one to actually say time, so I am going to actually use um, some things that it are not in the 8 shape. So I'm going to just use that same technique that I used before and I'm going to just place this little bit around and make it say what I want it to say. By the way, to duplicate a, if you want to just drag these bits all around, all you got to do is drag that bit and bring it into the new layer, and it'll just copy it. So you can make multiple copies and just move these around wherever you want to move them. Ah, now to erase certain letters, all you got to do is go back to this background layer, select your clone stamp tool, and now all you got to do is just clone in a certain area, push alt on a blank area of the clock, and erase the red part. And you can just do that by pushing alt on a blank area, and then going in and erasing, covering it up. I don't believe we met. I am Duran. Who are you? Okay, so there it is. It may appear kind of cheesy, and it kind of is. Um, yeah, I really, this is to just demonstrate that it doesn't always look best when you're using letters that aren't in that H shape. Uh, like, good letters to use are like things like O, I, L, E, B, S, uh, U, things like that. So, there you go. Um, one more thing, if you do want to get rid of the glare, if that's really bothering you, what you could do is just get your burn tool, put it to mid-tones, and just kind of, you know, go over those areas. And that will kind of get rid of it. You could also use your dodge tool later to brighten up the letters if, if you want the, the letters to be brighter.